Why do planes fly across the Atlantic like this? You might think they're following some invisible path and you'd be right. Departing from New York, this plane is actually following a jet stream highway in the sky. These are the major jet stream routes across the Atlantic. And just like a highway here on the ground, these routes are used to get from one major city to another in the fastest time possible. But what's really cool about these jet stream highways is that they're invisible. They're not like roads or train tracks that you can build. They're made of air. And the air moves really fast, up to 150 miles per hour. That's 240 kilometers per hour. At that speed, you could get from London to New York in only three and a two hours. But planes don't fly at that speed. They are much slower. So it takes them longer to get from one city to another. The jet stream is a river of air that flows from west to east across the Atlantic. It's created by the temperature difference between the equator and the poles. The air at the equator is warm and rises. Then as it moves towards the poles, it cools and sinks, creating a giant cycle of air that goes around the planet. As the air rises and falls, it creates currents that can reach 100 miles per hour. That's 160 kilometers per hour. At that speed, a plane could get from New York to London in just five hours. When planes fly with the jet stream, they can get there even faster. But when they fly against it, they slow down. So it's important for pilots to know where the jet stream is and how fast it's moving so they can plan their route and make sure they have enough fuel to get to their destination. The good news is there's an app for that. It's called Windy and it gives pilots real-time information on wind speed and direction at different altitudes. It also shows them the temperature and humidity, which is important because those factors affect the way the plane flies through the jet stream. Now you know why planes fly across the Atlantic the way they do. Thanks for watching. See you next time.